a scuba diver dives down to a depth of 30 meters in a freshwater lake. What is the pressure at that depth in atmospheres, in pascals, and in centimeter mercury? What is the gauge pressure in atmospheres, in pascals, and in centimeter mercury? The density of mercury is 13,600 kilograms per meter cubed. On the surface of the lake, we have atmospheric pressure pushing down on the surface of the water. So the pressure down there is the atmospheric pressure plus the pressure from this column of water, rho g h. Let's first find this pressure in pascals. So if a problem does not specify, we're going to use the standard atmospheric pressure for PO which means it's a one atmosphere, 10 to the fifth pascals. This is a freshwater lake, so the density is the density for water, which is, if you remember, it's a thousand kilograms per meter cubed. Times the g, I'm just going to use 10 for g, the depth over here is 30. And so this will give us 4 times 10 to the 5th, and that will be pascals. Notice how I had to use uh, the standard units for everything I plug in in order to get the standard units pascals in the end. So this has to be the density in kilograms per meter cubed, and that's the g and the, the, the depth is in meters. Now let's find the pressure in atmospheres. We know that uh, 10 to the 5th pascals is one atmosphere, so this is four atmospheres. Now we have to find how many centimeter mercury this is. If you happen to remember that one atmosphere is 76 centimeter mercury, then all you have to do is to multiply 4 by 76 centimeter mercury. And you will get 304 centimeter mercury. Or we can use the density of mercury to find this. We want to know how many centimeter mercury equals to 4 times 10 to the fifth pascals. Which means that we want to find the height of a mercury column that can produce this much pressure. The pressure produced by a column of liquid mercury can be found using our new formula rho g h. Because we're looking at the column of mercury, we have to use the mercury's density 13600, and I'm just going to use 10 for g, and the h is the depth or the height of the mercury column we're looking for. So if you set these two equal, we can find the H to be 2.94, and what unit do you think this depth has? Since uh, this is the standard unit pascals, and everything I put in here is in the standard unit, that means the depth here must be in meters, the standard unit, which means uh, I haven't found the centimeter mercury yet. What I found was uh, 2.94 meter mercury. This many meters tall of a mercury column produces 4 times 10 to the 5th pascals. Then of course I just have to convert this to centimeter mercury. 2.94 meters is 294 centimeters. So this will be 294 centimeter mercury. Of course you can see that this is not exactly the same as the 304 centimeter mercury we found earlier. This is because of the rounding involved. We rounded the one atmosphere from 101, 325 pascals to 10 to the fifth pascals. I also rounded the G from 9.8 to 10. That's why we have this discrepancy. But both of these answers should be acceptable on the AP exam. Now, just in case, if you haven't noticed, every 10 meter tall of water column provides uh, 
almost one atmosphere of pressure. The pressure produced by this 10 meter tall water column can be found using the rho gh. For water, the density is 1,000. And I'm going to use 10 for g. And if the water column is 10 meters tall, or the depth is 10 meters, we get 10 to the fifth pascals, which is about the one atmosphere. It can be convenient for you to know this fact. 10 meter tall water column provides about one atmosphere of pressure. So 30 meters of water provides three atmospheres of pressure, plus this atmospheric pressure that's one atmosphere. That means the total pressure, the absolute pressure down here would be three plus one, four atmospheres, which we found right here. So far, we found the pressure or absolute pressure in these different units. How about the gauge pressure? Gauge pressure is the absolute pressure minus the atmospheric pressure. So if you subtract the atmospheric pressure from the absolute pressure, we're going to get the pressure produced by the water only. Since we have 30 meters of water, that means we are going to get the three atmospheres because every 10 meters of water is one atmosphere. And uh, of course, uh, one atmosphere is 10 to the fifth pascals. So this is three times 10 to the fifth pascals. And we also know that one atmosphere is uh, 76 centimeter mercury. So this will give us uh, 228 centimeter mercury. So these are the gauge pressure at the 30 meter depth in these various units.